Okay, so we're going to go for another wine here, and we're going to go for another fizz, obviously. We're going to go to Luxembourg here with Beef Root. We'll get this open. And I couldn't work for anyone or sell a product I don't believe in or genuinely enjoy uh, using or selling. So, like I said, most simple thing in the world for anyone to use. Tripod. Make sure that's nice and sturdy. Take the camera out of the bag. Place on the tripod. And you're ready to go. It gives you 12 seconds to get out of the way and do your best use in bolt impression. And then uh, it does three spins. First one using the LiDAR laser at the back of the camera. This is capturing 200,000 point measurements in 14 seconds or so. Right, well, another episode of Property and Wine, and I'm here today with two people. I've got Giraffe 360 here, and I've got Freddy representing the brand. So, and we're going to taste some wines. Looking forward to that. So, you're here today showcasing this tech, techy looking, innovative product. Uh, but I've always been in the property industry. Pretty much, uh, I think from a young child when all my mother, my sister, everyone in my family used to say, you've got the gift of the gab, um, you're going to work in property. Um, I was determined to prove them wrong, but to be honest with you, they were right. They were right. They, they were right. <laughs> so you've been a few years in the property, you were saying that you was at Foxton's and Foxton's. at Independent Estate Agents, yes. PropTech as well, you, you've had dabbling and You've landed yourself with the big brand, which is quite well known. I know of it because I've dealt with them in the past year, Giraffe 360. So, Foxton's you started off with? Yeah, so uh, it's hard to off there. Uh, solid training, 8 till 8, every day, 6 days a week. Uh, but on the plus side, they did give me a car and pay for my petrol and my mobile phone. Not so, bad. That, not as, bad. At a younger age, that's not a bad package. 18 years old. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, had to do some work to obviously repay them. Did quite well there, did a year. Um, was uh, looking forward to new opportunities at the end of that year. Worked for a couple of small independent estate agents in, uh, in London, also uh, in the Camden area. So I worked for the big corporate, also a small independent, and it's, it's crazy to see the difference of processes and everything between, between those two extremes. Mm. So that was my background in property. Um, started my own businesses, did uh, three different businesses. One was an events management business. Uh, enjoyed that for a little while. Wasn't bringing the money I kind of hoped as a young kid at 21, 22 would hope for. But after that, I was always uh, either technology or property based. Um, still working with developers, investors continuously. Right, okay. And obviously, what drew you to the Giraffe 360 concept? So, uh, it was actually one meeting with the CEO of Microsoft Arts. Um I had no interest to go back to sales and uh, needless to say, to sell cameras to estate agents wasn't my original first thought. Mm. But when I met with Mikas and he showed me the camera, I realized that it was instantaneously this idea that it actually fixes a problem for estate agents. And at the price point as well, it just seemed to be a win-win. So that piqued my interest. Yeah. And I bought into the, the concept and the people there as well. And it just proved that actually they wanted a really great idea. And obviously you're here today to showcase this little baby here. Indeed, indeed. It's uh, been three, three and a half years in the making to get to this lovely model. This is the third model, but um, hard work and graft has paid off. So, today we're going to do some sparkling wine, but you already like wines, I, I hear. You've got the Vivino app on, on, on your phone, which many in the wine industry should be familiar with, and you've tasted a few Malbecs and white wine, so you've got a passion for wines already. My appreciation for wine is, is really fresh at the moment. Um, only started really enjoying wines over the last four or five years or so, and it started off pretty much with, with a Malbec. Where was that, in, was that in pubs and bars, if you don't mind me asking, or did you buy some wines and, and have them sent to your home? It's actually to do with uh, my father. My father is a massive wine lover. He okay. loves his wine, um, always taught me that you don't need to spend £50, £100, £20 on a bottle of wine for it to be fine. I agree, yeah. Uh, he's, he's found these lovely little gems, you know, your 8 99s on offer at Tesco, wherever. But I was in, oh, always went out with my family. Uh, my father would always have a bottle of wine on the table. And I always leaned towards the, the red wines. So the first ones were your Malbecs. Um, then it was a, a Duro or a Duero, depending on which side of the river you're on. 
Um, and also, who doesn't love a glass of bubbly when you get the opportunity as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I, I understand, well, obviously, being in the same field as you in property, I work in property, but I had the, the wine bug, and it creeps upon you. And as you say, I think your father's correct, is probably many years of, of, fine, of fine tastings allows you to distinguish a good one and a bad, and you can have mightily fine wines at eight ninety nine from Tesco's or Sainsbury's or Lidl and all of these places today. Indeed. I think also Majestic has been quite helpful in recent times um, where you can go and try different wines, obviously not during Covid unfortunately, that's yeah. kind of gone, but that was also a big help in more recent times. But just over time trying another wine when at dinner with family or with friends, um, trying to stay away from my, my love of my gin and tonic for example, and just take a different approach in an evening. That's where I've learned step by step. Some little differences, some little wines I really like. Well, wine's a good thing, so we're going to start with a glass of bubbly, as you say. I'm going to choose a bottle of Prosecco here, so Northern Italy, one of the most famous producers of, of Prosecco is Vitasandi. Uh, I was there just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they have an extensive range, very detailed range of Prosecco, which allows you to explore all of the different regions in Prosecco, of which there are many, and the different quality levels. But what I've chosen here is actually a, a Prosecco, the same label Prosecco, but this time it's a biological organic, so it's kind of got a green footprint. We're just going to see how they compare, so I'm going to get this opened. Lovely. So yeah, Villa Sandy, northern area above Venice, Prosecco region. There's a lot of the fine sparkling wines from Italy do come from the northern part. Francia Corta, Trento, Prosecco, very well known, obviously. It's a very special area to me, Venice, so mm. anything near there. Well, you'll be you're happy with. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Glasses at the ready, gentlemen. I feel like the first thing I smell, and I haven't got the best nose, but the first thing I smell seems to be something a little bit apple-y. Yeah, a bit, of, a bit of apple. You've got kind of green fruits, you've got like the apple, so maybe, yeah, green apples on the nose. There was definitely a citrus hit immediately. And there's a zesty, a zestiness yeah. to it. So sometimes if you've got green apple, apples, it has the kind of, the, the citrus kind of, the zesty element to it, the acidic crunching by the apple. You do have a touch of pear as well. And there I say that a smooth creaminess to it. Yeah, now that you say that, the pear does come through. Come through it, and we can do the taste. Again, it's very smooth. It's not too fizz, it's not too much of a fizz attack in the mouth, um, I find. Uh, but it's very smooth and it's very again it's white fruit driven. So it's probably pear flesh from it. Yeah, the, sub the, sub the, the subtlety of the pear does come through after as well. So. so we've had our first glass there, very enjoyable. But we need to talk about Giraffe 360. So can you tell us a little bit more about this, this uh, camera? Can I call it a camera here? What it does? So what it does is using uh, a Sony HDR lens built in at the top here. If you could just take a look in there. Yeah. And then, what most people don't really see there's that black line. Yes, I see that, yeah. That is a high precision laser. So, our camera captures basically top to high photography as well as high accuracy measurements for your floor plan. So, no need to fiddle around with your laser distos or your, your, your sketches which you have to do on site. This camera does it all. For well, it seemed like when you set it up earlier, it seemed to be just as quick as loading up an app on your phone. You put the tripod up. You put that on top of it, you press the button, and it was on, ready to, to, go, to, to, to go to work. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, that's really the main point. What we kind of want people to realise is anyone can use this, whether it be a negotiator, whether it be the director, whether it be the office manager. Whoever uses it can easily use it. And two, the quality is going to be the same throughout. So what this literally generally does for, for estate agents is it, it takes the floor plan measurements mm -hmm. very accurately. It also takes high quality photos as well, and then it takes, should I say, 360 photos? It does that as well. Yeah. So rather than using the 360 camera, if you will, that yeah. shoots you know, a very 
There's well, I used to have that. I used to have on my phone a few years ago is an Insta360, is a little thing you should put on top of your phone and you had to have the app. Yeah. But what that allowed me to do, and I can remember walking up the Avenue de Champagne and I had <laughs> it like that. Okay. And I filmed myself walking up, but it was nice. But when I went back to watch the video, I can just move it around. You know, it's quite, it was quite clever. So the benefit you have with something like this, yeah. rather than your yeah, Insta360, which is it's a great entry level. It's a consumer tool. product, yeah. yeah. Completely. It's a toy, let's call it that. It's a fun toy. It's, it's a, a fun toy. toy. It I is a good it, yeah. toy. I don't use it anymore because it's a bit tedious to put together, but it was it was fun at the time. So this is obviously a little bit heavier than your Insta360, obviously, yeah. and a bit difficult to put on your helmet if you were trying to do some yeah. water sports. Yes, yes. But rather than using that very crazy wide angle or fishbowl sort of looking yes. lens. This is exactly what it was, yes, more so. Yeah. This, if you can imagine, this is taking beautiful photos in multiple different angles. Yeah. So each photo is like almost perfect. And yeah. um, we stitch them together, but obviously you just don't see the staples. You don't. No, because I saw an example earlier on, on the laptop, and you, you, you're quite right. There, it's not the fishbowl, it's not like the room's out of shape. It's everything is as if you're seeing it literally there with your eye. Yeah. And you're turning around, and there is no blemish, there's no deterioration. It's literally gliding across. Indeed. So for us, we're proud to be able to say we've got the highest quality virtual tour on the planet um, at 270 megapixels, not that most people understand what that is. But basically it's just the highest quality virtual tour you can get with a, with a system like ours. Just how popular is this Giraffe 360? Is it just in the UK? Is it sold internationally? <laughs> Uh, Giraffe 360 has become very popular over the last six months, especially um, during the whole COVID situation. I can imagine that would have spiked up interest a lot. Indeed, uh, but it was one particular event last year alone. We were we were in Spain and uh, at a Remax conference, and we took on nine additional countries uh, just from countries. That one event. Wow! And how many countries are you in totally currently? Uh, I think it's just over 21 at the moment, give or take. Right. Give okay. or take. Primarily focused around Europe. Right. And. What's attracted most people is, well, firstly, word of mouth has got around like wildfire for us. We're, we're very pleased with that. Uh, obviously, we're doing something right. But what's really got people's attention is that anyone can use it. So your big agencies, your small agencies, uh, commercial and residential. If you're into tech or if you're scared of tech. Completely. Yeah. Completely. Um, so, you know, the majority of people are actually using our camera in the estate agents uh, or in the agencies that we have on board are your negotiators. So they're your negotiators or they're your valuers who are responsible for obviously bringing on the instructions. It makes no difference who you are. Everyone has just found it so easy to use. Right, we're going to try a, another bottle of Prosecco. This time it's literally the same label, but it is the organic, the green footprint version of it, should we say. So we're going to taste this. But what I was going to ask you is the, the, the Giraffe 360. Who's using it? Obviously, estate agents, the real estate industry does. Anybody else is using Giraffe 360? So, as you clocked on straight away, it's, it's primarily focused around the residential and commercial uh, real estate sectors. But we do have architects, construction, um, interior designers. Uh, my favourite one is actually you've, you've got a contract cleaning company. Oh, you said that earlier, that's very interesting. But I, can, I, I can understand why they would do, because if they want to, if they've got massive floor spaces and they want to showcase the size, the volume that they're actually doing, they, yep. they would use this for that. Indeed. So they actually look at it uh, as a way of capturing the space and using it to pitch a quote. Mm. And going into each area, they can then also highlight or using our information hotspots. Mm. Say, this area is what we're going to clean and this is how much we yeah. charge for this. So it gives a good so idea. Like a very professional kind of quotation that they can give with the Indeed. Giraffe 360. I'm going to give this a pour. Would you like to try some? I would, please. Yeah. I don't think I've ever tried an organic wine, to my knowledge, or a sparkling wine. Okay, it's very similar to the first one. It's a touch more green. I have. I have a little bit of, say, freshly cut grass, maybe. And I've got the green fruits. Definitely got green pear more than the apple expressed on the last one. See, I didn't understand the creaminess from the first one, mm. but now with this one, mm. I feel actually the first one is creamier. I can mm. get a slight sense from yeah. it. So if I if I'm in the state station and I've seen this or I've heard about the Giraffe 360, what do I do? Do I just go online? Can I go in a shop and buy it from my estate agency? Is it simple as that, or not as simple as that? Okay, almost. But what you would do is you'd just go on to giraffe360.com, for example, yeah. uh, sign up for a demo or request more information, or just give us a call directly, okay. and we can facilitate that for you. So is it 
do you buy these? Is it, does it come in the bag and the tripod and away you go? So the benefit you get with us is actually no, you don't have to pay for it at all. You're not actually buying the camera. Okay. It's all included in the service model. Right. So you're not actually paying for a camera. You're paying for all the editing, um, all the enhancements, the building of the floor plans. So that's so, what we're So doing. I don't even have to edit the videos. Do you do that yourself? We do all of that ourselves. So I'm quite literally putting this product in the middle of the room for my new listing that I had, pressing the button, it's taking all of the data that's required, and then you're doing all the hard work and producing the final videos and uh, full floor plan for me. Pretty much that's it. So two buttons, as I showed you here. Left one there is your still photography. Yeah. Just take it from the corner of the room or a doorway, like you would with any other camera. Your 3D scan does your floor plan and your virtual tour. Bonk in the middle of the room, press the button, do your best Usain Bolt impression and get out of the way. And uh, that's what you need to do. Once and it and when I take this back to the office and I want to connect it to your remote system, do I have to connect some leads and telephone you and say I'm trying to send you no. some files or? Not at all. You just simply turn off the camera, this will put it into upload mode and it will go uh, directly up to the cloud or to your account yeah. uh, automatically for you without you having to do anything. It sounds a bit too easy. Normally I would say it is, but on this occasion, no, it's just connected to Wi-Fi and upload it goes by itself. Okay, so we're going to go for another wine here, and we're going to go for another fizz, obviously. We're going to go to Luxembourg here with beetroot. I'm going to get this open. So, I'm going to pour us a glass of the beetroot, but maybe, just a question if you don't mind me asking, what, why, if I'm an estate agent, why should I choose 360 over, say, taking my mobile phone and doing a video, or... Um, choosing a local photographer to come in to do the photography. Is there, is there an advantage with Giraffe 360 over those kind of um, services? So, as we've already been through a majority of it, as you've seen, it's already really easy to use, number one. Definitely, I have to agree, yeah. That's number one. Number two, you know, hiring a professional photographer, for example, you know, depending on what area you're in, the quality, you're going to start with anywhere from £80 up. And, very commonly people spend 150, 200 pounds, or even further north of that for professional photos, and sometimes it doesn't even give you a floor plan. Um, if you think that our, our camera essentially costs you around 25 quid a property, or from 25 quid a property, it's significant. It's actually quite cheap, really, per, yeah. list, per listing. Per listing. And are you finding that people are using it both for property for sale and property to rent? Absolutely. Absolutely. So lettings and the sales industry are using this product? Absolutely. Um, I'll come back to that, but if you, if you think about firstly just the usage, how easy it is, two, the price point, three, the consistent quality you get regardless of who's capturing it. So if you can't do it, you need to send one of, one of the, the boys or girls from the office down, yeah. it's all going to be the same. Um, and that's, that's that consistency which you know you can trust. That's why you would probably go with us in that sort of perspective and with regards to the cost like I said it's, it's 25 quid to 80 quid depending on how many properties you're doing a month um, that's really it to be honest you just said this this product just sounds a little bit too simple and easy or do you think that's what it was designed to be is quite simply a, an easy to use solution a lot of tech inside and innovation but for the end user, it's simply a case of pressing one button or two buttons. That's really it. We wanted to make sure that we all know that the core values of, of marketing in marketing a property is your still photography first. Uh, secondly, it's your floor plan. And then finally, you've got your additional media such as your videos and virtual tours. The whole point is to make it as easy as possible so that anyone can use it while delivering quality content that you can trust, that you are not afraid to put your, your brand to, your name to, and just trust that we're going to deliver the photography back that's going to look good in your window, on right moves if on the market, or even in the newspaper's uh, High Life magazine. Yeah. The last wine is the B group from Luxembourg, so uh, I can't remember the aromas and, and flavour, so I'm going to be like you, get in here. Okay, it's a different. I've got a touch of a. I've got a touch of baked bread, maybe even toast and petroleum. So a touch of petrol and a kind of baked bread. 
nose to this green, again a green character. I'm getting a touch of, and it's going to sound weird, but my, my mother's honey cake. I can, I can smell like honey cake. Now, I tell you what, it's a very good thing with wines is sometimes they can take you back to childhood memories and you're trying to find out, you think, oh, I remember being at grandma's house or I remember the sweet that I used to have or cola bottles or, you know, the, the old prawn shrimps and, and bananas. And a lot of time you find that in the wines. But I tell you one question coming out of wine one last time here. Yeah, the COVID-19 obviously has caused havoc for most industries, yeah, but there are some uh, businesses that have done quite well. I can see potentially that the Draft 360 can be used during good times or bad. Let's call it current time bad, that restrictions on certain viewings are about, but your kind of machine here, and along with the software that you have available for people to use on the laptop and on the mobile phone, you can still carry out viewings, even if there is now a, another lockdown. Absolutely. So, two things I would like to tell you. Uh, number one is this remote viewing uh, functionality we have. So, you know Zoom, right? Zoom and Skype. I've been using it plenty of times with wine tasting, so definitely know. <laughs> so, and you've also seen virtual tours. I have used to do the virtual tour, so I totally understand that yet. Exactly. And I saw what you showed me earlier, which excited me, so tell, tell our viewers what, what you did. So, remote viewing with us is uh, having your virtual tour in full screen, and rather than using the same virtual tour that you make public so anyone can access on your website or right moves you on the market or wherever, remote viewing is the same virtual tour, but it's actually launching a meeting inside it. So there's no need for Zoom, Skype, Teams or Hangout. There's no additional software needed. And you as the agent would be able to launch that on your screen, send that link to an applicant anytime. So I could be saying to you as the estate agent, um, I want to view the property that's just come on right move, please. Can I literally go and view it? But I can't view it because it's too far away or I'm too busy. You could sort that out for me. Absolutely. And could you show me around the house and I could see you? Exactly. So rather than just giving you a virtual tour link that you can do what you wish, uh, sometimes you want some more information. And what I can do is invite you to this virtual tour. So you could be at a bus stop for all you care, on your phone or in your living room with your iPad. You will click through, you'll see me at the other end of it, just like a Zoom meeting. Yeah. But you won't need to download anything. It's all there for you. And then I can show you around the property. Uh, I can even give you control so that you can walk around well, obviously I watch and yeah. tell you... So if I see something, I can say, oh, you know, does this come with the... Does the furniture come with this uh, property? You may say yes with the lesson it does. Or I can ask you any question I want about property and you can just say, yep, yeah, I've got the answer for you here. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. So that's the whole point. You're still sharing that whole viewing experience and you as the agent are still in control of that viewing. Mm -hmm. So that's where a lot of our agents have, have been swearing by what we do because it's just so easy and it's keeping them in business, it's keeping them doing more viewings and that's what's keeping the, the market moving, the ability you, to sell. Do you think that this project is that good that people have made a decision from viewing one of your virtual tours to buy or to rent a property? Indeed, indeed. We've seen an increased number of uh, lettings go through without any physical viewings and that's all based off of virtual tours, photography, that's the market we live in at the moment. People still need a roof over their heads. Yeah. So they're still able to find it. But the market is still quite busy. It Even is. if we can't view some of the properties, and we had the lockdowns, and I'm sure there's probably going to be more due, um, the market is still vibrant. Absolutely. Um, the majority of agents that I speak to on a day-to-day -day basis are saying they've never been this busy. Mm. Um, they, are, they just don't have the time to, to stop and check their emails because they're just doing back-to-back -back valuations. And back-to-back -back viewings. So from my point of view, really, if there are lockdowns, then this product here can actually help estate agents to continue their business. They don't have to be too fearful of future lockdowns, because if they've got your product, exactly. they can still show properties. Exactly, because they would have already captured them, they're already available to view, they're online, so if you can't get out to, to go and see it, well, all you have to do is relax and view remotely. Good. Well, I'll tell you something, it's been really interesting talking to you today uh, about this product. I have seen it before, I didn't have time to look at it in too much detail. So I'm pleased you brought this little product here to, uh, to show us, and hopefully the wines will be good for you. They have yeah. indeed. I say cheers. Cheers. And until the next time. Well, thanks for watching everybody, and well, that's another property and wines uh, episode for you. And um, thanks to Giraffe360, and thanks to Freddie.
And thank you to Chris for walking and uh, very insightful and learning experience for me as well. And thanks to Villa Sandy and thanks to the B Group.